Hi, I'm Francis of Teens Editorial Team Philippines. I wrote a small piece about zero hunger and how our minuscule efforts can make a huge difference. I'm not much of a writer myself, but after this experience, I can say that it certainly gave a confidence boost in my writing. I think that writing something you're passionate about makes all the difference, and being part of this project was such a huge honor. It felt like I was part of something bigger than myself. The small piece that I wrote was born out of being inspired by one of the webinars I attended about Zero Hunger. I guess you can say it moved me so much that I wanted to put my feelings into words. Having someone coach and guide me through the process also became very helpful in ensuring that the final outcome of my project was of good quality. When I finally finished my writing, I was quite happy. I was satisfied with the outcome and I wanted to share it with other people. That's why all I can offer to people who even have a tiny interest in writing and journalism is to write. Write as much as you can and write about the things that you like and the things that move you. That's all from me. Thank you for listening. Hello, my name is Miko. Last 2020, I attended this webinar about memes. Now, now that the Teen Purpose Project is coming to a close, I'm going to share my impressions about it. The webinar about memes, of course, is focused about memes and about how it could be the main form of communication in journalism. I think that the memes that were shown were somewhat understandable and still relevant because some of them were still are still being used today, like the Drake meme, I mean, boyfriend meme and the hide your pain Harold meme, the old guy. From the Teens Project, I learned that as a video editor, it is important to have good communication with the ones involved in the video presentation. The aspect I found difficult as a video editor was how to successfully and effectively communicate the message of the video to the audience. The most beautiful thing I, ha I found with Teens Project is that even though we are countries apart, we manage to have outputs in many different media, just like in print, video, and audiovisual. Hi everyone, I am Jana Pertanto. I was one of the scriptwriters of Hombre Mundo International and Building Bridges event between my country, the Philippines, and Oceania. There were challenges I encountered, such as conflict on schedule, too many ideas, and limited time. So specifically for the scriptwriting that I did, you really have to choose the right words that everyone can understand so that the audience can easily comprehend the message with our team. It is also important to learn not only your culture but also others. So this is how you relate to the world. It was fun and challenging that we had to brainstorm and take time in thinking what words to put in the script. And when we got surprised knowing a trivia about the country. And I realized that writing the script or building the framework of the program is its heart. So in preparation, you have to be ready with the collaborative platforms you'll be using. Here, we use Google Document and Zoom Cloud meetings that you can also use to delegate tasks and Hello, I am Tiranta. Last February, I was given the opportunity to be one of the MCs at a youth event called Homer Nudo. Honestly, it was a difficult task for me and my co-MC, but we worked extremely hard in order to obtain a well-developed script for this event. Unfortunately, we found out that other content videos for the broadcast were missing. We were under a lot of pressure before going live on stream and time seemed to be moving faster than usual. We decided not to wait for the lacking videos and use what we had on hand to ensure that we were in full control of the program flow. It was an extremely worrying and nerve-wracking situation as we had to make quick changes to the program flow. I also had to consider how I'd present myself to the audience. I decided to wear a dark blue blouse, simple yet beautiful. I fixed my background to make it pleasing to the eye and I decided to put a plant beside me during the stream to integrate it with the ecological topics and issues that we did discuss. Our hearts were racing but we kept in mind that we needed to be confident to make the event fun for everyone. Thankfully, Hombre Mundo went on smoothly despite the difficulties. We got to interact with the viewers by asking them questions and getting their responses through the comment section. 
This made me very happy and I felt so much satisfaction afterwards. This experience will always be memorable in my life. I may have felt pressured at first, but I realized that I was chosen to be an MC to represent the young people and help give light to resolving issues for the greater good of our society. I'm Gwyneth Nazareth. I was one of the MCs of the Ombre Mundo International event. The event allowed me to explore new cultures, make new friends, and be aware of the current situations the world is facing and what actions need to be taken. Being an MC for the event was something that was out of the ordinary. Initially, I thought that I will be working behind the camera, but instead, I was brought to an opportunity that took a lot of courage from me. Honestly, it was outside my comfort zone, but it turned out to be something welcoming and a space to share my talent and ideas with the whole team. The very thing that made me appear natural in hosting is confidence. Confidence made me look prepared and appear professional without lengthy practice. It manifested my talents and experiences from working in different events. As we held the event virtually, a nice setup contributed to the overall presentation and helped me look well prepared. The skills brought by two years of online learning helped me master how to manipulate Zoom meetings, set up cameras, and the appropriate area for shooting live or recorded events.